A nurse told officers McCowan was in the labor and delivery department. She says his girlfriend was in labor, but that's when things took a strange turn. The report says the nurse saw 18 year old Marcus McCowan running back and forth down the hall and that he tried to make contact with the mom and her child. Now that mother left the area with her newborn. According to the affidavit, he then began running up and down the hall screaming and charged three registered nurses, knocking one down while trying to enter the nursery behind a securely locked door. Now here's where things took a more violent turn. A nurse told police she saw McCowan in the lactation room where he pushed the very same mother he approached earlier and began choking her infant child. The report says two nurses were able to pull him away now here's where things get a little confusing. Somehow McCowan managed to get into the locked nursery. The affidavit says nurses say they saw Marcus strangling a different baby. According to one nurse, he shouted out die while choking the infant. At this point, the report says the nurses believed McCowan was going to throw down the baby, but a respiratory therapist heard the commotion and it managed to safely get the baby and Marcus to the ground. The report says the baby had already turned blue. Nurses were able to get Marcus to let go just as hospital security arrived. Now, shortly after, two Odessa police officers showed up. According to the affidavit, as they were handcuffing McCallan, he made a few failed attempts to grab one of the officer's gun, and that wasn't the end of it. The affidavit says he tried to grab the gun again in the elevator as he was being taken out of the hospital. So tonight we are hearing from the president of Odessa Regional Medical Center. Stacy Brown sent us this statement praising the actions of the hospital staff in saving the babies. Brown expressed her gratitude to everyone who responded to protect the innocent babies. She calls them incredible heroes and says everyone's grateful to them. She adds, quote, our attention is now focused on caring for and supporting those who were impacted by this, including our patients, their families, and our staff.